Hi, I just wanted to make this quick video about my brush cleaning process when I'm oil painting. I like to keep things really nice and simple. So I have this system that utilizes a, um, this one's a little bit old and beat up and has lots of paint on it, which means that it's been well loved. And so this is what I use to hold my brushes in. And what I like about these cans is that um, it has a, a nice clean edge. This, I, I like to use uh, Goya bean cans. I think um, there may be some other brands, maybe Bush Beans, that have this uh, flip top. And what's uh, nice about that is that it, it does have a nice clean edge when you open it, as opposed to a can that you have to open with a can opener, which will leave very sharp or a spiked edge where the top is pulled off. At the same time, I can endorse Goya beans because they are the best beans. There's no other beans that come close to those. And so uh, you'll be spending maybe 70 to 90 cents on the beans themselves, and then the can more or less is free after you You've had the beans. I tend to buy either black beans or chickpeas. I make lots of hummus and lots of black beans. For those who know me, I'm constantly making black bean dip and hummus. And the mason jars, I tend to buy these um, all, all kinds of sizes. They, um, the, this size, which is a half pint, comes in a generally a pack of 12, which costs about $12 at the store. Uh, we tend to have these lying around the house, so again, it hasn't cost me very much and just fits together so nicely. <laughs> I will clip the jar onto my easel then I can put my uh, solvent in here some people like to use uh, just a solvent free painting experience then they can use something like safflower oil or linseed oil to clean their brushes and that way they're not using any solvents at all or they can use I use Gamsol this is a substitute for turpentine it is much much safer it's a distilled a mineral spirit. It's a solvent which you can use to both clean your brushes and you can also um, incorporate it as a way of thinning your paints as you're painting. I very rarely use a painting medium. I'm almost exclusively use um, straight oil paint or oil paint with some Gamsol in it. And as I'm cleaning my brushes, well, the brushes will still be a, a little bit wet or sometimes I'll dip a little bit into the, the solvent um, from the can that my brushes are in and then uh, loosen up the paint a little bit. And I like to paint generally with the paint at a sort of a consistency of cream. The paint really flows nicely and quickly as I'm starting a painting. And then as I'm working, I tend to um, paint a little bit uh, a little bit thicker. Um, then when you're not working, you can store the paints into this jar. You essentially pour, um, pull your brushes out, you wipe them clean with a paper towel, you pour them into the um, the liquid into the jar and then you can put um, that um, paper towel that you use to wipe the brushes into the jar just to soak up the extra liquid and then you can slip the jar back into the, the can for safekeeping. The nice part about this is when the uh, when the jar sits uh, for long periods of time with the solvent in it, then the paint particles has a higher specific gravity and it will settle down to the bottom of the jar. So more or less overnight or over a few days, the Gamsol will become clear again and you can pour off the clear part back into your jar and then you can continue to reuse it. There's no need to ever have to figure out how to dispose of used um, solvent because you can keep on using it until it's all been incorporated into your painting or into your paints or it had been completely used in the process of cleaning your brushes. When it starts to run out you can buy more solvent, more Gamsol in my case. This is a, a real simple system. I'm putting together these uh, series of videos and um, some demos and tutorials to help those artists see that painting with oil paints is fairly straightforward. I've heard people say it's too toxic, it's too messy, it's too difficult to control, and I'm hoping to start off with uh, some very simple methods to get people over that, that hump or their fears to realize that this is a very easy and natural way of painting. I think that they will try it, then I think they'll fall in love with it the same way that, that I love oil painting. And so um, hopefully this will be an encouragement. Um, thank you very much.